It's one of Kenya's most prestigious institutions, but now has been riddled with controversy following a damning report revealing how Form 1 students have been forced to wake up in the middle of the night by prefects and forced to pray to the deceased in the most horrific manner. This young boy, whom we'll call Daniel, is just less than 12 weeks old into the school, but already has a story to tell. All captains, they all lined up strategically near the, uh, near the doors, near the exits of that hall. You know, our hall is really huge. So they, they were all lined up in a strategic position in all exits. Then they started saying, for once, for once, your time must come. Your time must come to harden up. Then they said, all for once, exit this place right now. Uh, <laughs> we were so confused. But then when they saw a huge crowd of all for ones running out, also followed the suit. An informal induction ceremony conducted on the high school freshmen by their seniors tells of a tale of cult-like tendencies that saw the Ministry of Education in early February order a thorough probe into the issue. Just like the report revealed, Daniel narrates of how students are often woken up in the middle of the night, forced to run around the field several times, and some required to spend the night at a nearby graveyard where the school's former principals have been laid to rest. We managed to get one of the teachers at the school who only agreed to talk to us on condition of anonymity and says the quote-unquote induction that bears all the hallmarks of modern day bullying happens often but was surprised at the extent of the vice. Yeah, it has been there since 1926. one, yes. From now, since 1926. Whereby all those, including the likes of Amos Wako, the likes of Charles Njonjo, the likes of uh, Kiraito, Morongi, all the old boys have been uh, passing through this system. What is really, really seething, which is really angering me and also seething me, is the fact is, the, is how the punishment ends. You are sent to bed at 3.59. 3.59. Then only to be woken up the next minute. You've not slept. You've only slept for an hour between 10, 15 and 11. Nothing really angers me. But The situation that some believe prompted the former school head David Karaoke to seek early retirement was met with a lot of criticism from the Kenya National Union of Teachers who insisted the principal was intimidated into leaving office after a report sanctioned by the CES Fred Matiangi termed the principal's conduct as, quote, questionable. But the Teachers Service Commission, in a quick rejoinder on the accusation, states that, quote, Mr. Karaoke did not resign from the teaching service, but applied to retire after serving for more than 29 years. But for a boy who had always wanted to join Alliance since he was in class four, despite the small apprehension to return to the same institution that caused him so much trauma in his first few weeks, Alliance remains the place to be, never mind the fact that his mother thinks different. So to have to remove him because of what is going on at the school, it's, it's, it's awful. But as a parent, you will consider it, even though I wouldn't want it to happen. But I'm, I will consider it. Now, Dr. Matiangi has directed principals to probe any possible cases of bullying even as students from Alliance High School returned to school following the just concluded midterm break. The school's board met Thursday and decided to dissolve the prefect's body over the matter. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. All right, so that's what was happening or has been happening at Alliance High School, and not just Alliance High Schools, but other schools. And very sad to see what some of the students have had to go through, but truth be told, this is something that has been going on for a long time. Apart from Smita, who looks a bit uh, fine, eh? <laughs> like he has never, never yeah, happened like this.
to you. No, no, because it was you in Starehe. Yes. Yeah. 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 He was oh in Starehe. Oh, yeah. yeah. really? oh, you had no idea? You didn't? No, I, no, I didn't. <laughs> know. Know. He I was. Know. I didn't know Starehe does. You didn't know Starehe does this? I'll the University of Nairobi. Yeah. 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 Spoiling you For everything, <laughs> for discovery of such it. <laughs> no, but, uh, and other things. Eh? We are very innocent when we left uh, Starehe. Mm. And, but the thing was, in that school, of course, eh, you wel you're welcomed from day one uh, by the older boys. Bullies are just expelled. We used to be told. Wait, Starehe. Yes, no. you can only get expelled in Starehe for one thing. We used to be told bully. Mm. So, um, so you can't wake up like a mad person in form two to start bullying people. Mm. But I think what's so shocking about these stories that uh, it's happening to the most elite school mm. currently among boys' schools. You know, Alliance boys. Eh? It's where eh, even Nokina Steve would say his son can go there and so on. And then as Steve was saying during the break, eh, then you are told to, <laughs> to go and meet the founders. Literally. Go hang out with them. You no, know, you're <laughs> going to hang out with the founding fathers, <laughs> with Kari Francis. Eh? <laughs> yeah, and they are taken you know, to yeah. the graveyard. Eh? It's, it's, it's very big. sad. And Mike, I, I saw you reviewing the papers before we came. And I think it's for guys to grab the standard again and yeah. just see yeah, what the is there. The full story is there. The full story is there. This is a dad crying about his, his, his boy who passed very well, got a good school, mm -hmm. like you say, the elitist of yes. schools mm -hmm. in Kenya, and this happens. It's, it's yeah. a shocker. I mean, it was happening somewhere in the village where we can say, well, they are captured like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, although, although, although pass, if, so thank God for the, ed, uh, the audit because that's what brought it to light. Because mm. uh, what I was going to say is that yes. I went to Prince of Wales, mm. former Prince of Wales. Mm. Prince at, of Wales? Uh, school. Yeah, that one. Oh, but, really? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> but we, we, oh, we Michael. Also, yeah. 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 Are you, are you trying to tell me? Are you not speaking like this? Are you trying to tell me you didn't know this? Uh, yeah. No, I have absolutely no idea. You, have, oh you ought to have known this. Anyway. I ought to have known this. Coming back to the subject. Coming back to the subject. We went through the same thing. Yes. We swam on grass. We washed our faces with, with so I'm so serious. Yeah. You swam um, on grass. And we survived. Yeah. Not to say that it is acceptable. <laughs> yes, we swam on grass. And by the way, it was during, OK, if I give you that time, you'll know which year I was in school. Yes. So I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, no wonder they that. have to put so much lotion on your face. Uli para rishua for life. But the, <laughs> swimming on grass. Yes. But the point here yeah. being, it right. has been happening for a while. Yeah. And it is totally unfair that children go through that. But the question is, what's the origin? Because when you look at this, some of these schools, they were former um, colonial schools, mm -hmm. and maybe it was a system introduced by those who wanted to harass the students to basically monitor what is going on. So those who are elevated to the position of monitor, mm -hmm. uh, prefect, uh, head of school, were basically the eyes of those who wanted to harass the students. So of course, it's been going on for a long time. Hopefully, this will bring it to an end. Uh, Mike, I was a captain. School captain, oh how you? house One captain. Clearly, clearly. <laughs> I was a house captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Machako school where I, where I went to school. They had and, captains. And I know they are watching from yeah. there. They had captains. And did yes. you harass students? Um, I, I want to say mm -hmm. one. I didn't, there was no harassing students as such. But like Mike is saying, the culture of, uh, of monolization, mm -hmm. because that's, that's how it, it was branded yeah. back then, was there, and but but never went to the extremes of beating people and taking them to the gravesite. <laughs> Basically, the whole point was that you are from the village. Meeting the founding we, family. Yes. <laughs> we, we are trying to harden you up, like an NYS kind of a thing. Like yes. we just want you to become strong and be a boy. Yeah, I remember man. one night I. I, I had to be taken to, there's a dam next to where, where my house used to be, my, where we used to sleep. And I stayed there until around uh, midnight, just with the mosquitoes. But when you come from there, end of the day, we, we were meeting mosquitoes. Meet the mosquitoes. This is what was happening. But the, the point is yeah. that th there was no beating as such. Of course, there were there incidents was like that. But the culture of, of, of monolization yeah. was there. Uh, from time in moment. Why can't you yeah. hear from a former school bully? Okay. Yeah, that, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I was, I was, I was, was, Peter, I was yes. just about yeah. to ask, Solo, have yes. you been to school? Because you're yeah, very quiet. Yeah, yeah. 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 We end as you yeah. 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 like. Where did you go? I went to a military school. Um, uh, and and uh, let me talk about uh, uh, no no no, no. I, I went to Chinga Boys. Yeah. Right. Make your school proud. Yeah, Please true. make your school yeah, proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the moment. Yeah, yeah. And Chinga Pali kulikuwa na watinga. We used to go to barracks. And and uh, the the culture of uh, monolization in that era 
First of all, was just to harden you, as Stephen said. What what make what, what it makes you do is you can survive everywhere. Mm. So it just makes you get out of your comfort zone and realize that this is not your dad's house, this is not your <laughs> mom's house. You need to be your man, your own personal mm. um, uh, okay. defender. Mm. Okay? You never met such things. Uh, uh, no, I'm... A, a lot of it for us was also um, part of comic relief. Okay, mm -hmm. those people who are uh, who swam on the grass, you know, in a competition, and told, okay, dive now. <laughs> yes. Okay. And Precisely. Then you swim, so, and then, oh, you're told to call the president and uh, report using your shoe. Yeah, you call yeah. the president <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and tell us what he has said. No, no, no. In fact, let let the worst, the worst was was call your sister. Oh, you're told, chora i mandazi na utamuaki. So you need to. You can, you can tell a bully when you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it made me more creative because I used to think, okay, what should I do? Yeah, use the No, no, no. You used to think. No, no. So no, he's saying, say the truth. You used to think, how more creatively bullying can you be? Yeah. Okay, guys, this is the interesting thing because you guys are guys, and then you guys are guys. I went to Luak Girls High School, St Mary's Luak High, guys, and no. Um, no, that, that didn't happen at all. There was no bullying? Uh, it wasn't... Oh, at, gully. What I'm hearing <laughs> here is, is a little bit horrifying. There's just love among the Lots girls. of it. Actually, we even used to have, like, um, when you're mm. welcome in Form 1, you get a school mother, a school... Oh, you know, all this, all this mm. nice, yeah. lovely daddy Baby, come sleep on my bed. Yeah, yeah, we no. Sleep <laughs> them, no, 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 but... <laughs> come with cuddle, No. We make you feel no, no, you see now the things you're getting into. Come with you feel at home. No. You're at home in Luak, guys. Meet a kid just here from...